Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this lesson, we're going to be creating a basic corridor model in Civil 3D. Let's get started. This tutorial demonstrates how to use Autodesk Civil 3D objects to build a basic corridor model. Note this tutorial uses the corridor assembly that you built in the creating and assembly exercise. A corridor can be used to model a variety of features such as highways, channels, and runways. In this tutorial, you will model a residential road. A corridor model builds on and uses various Autodesk Civil 3D objects and data including subassemblies, assemblies, alignments, feature lines, surfaces, and profiles. Corridor objects are created along one or more horizontal baselines by placing a 2D section or assembly at incremental locations and creating matching slopes that reach a surface model at each incremental location. Let's start by opening up the Corridor-1A drawing in your Tutorials folder. Then go to your Home tab and then take a look at your Create Design panel. Next, click on the Corridor drop-down and select Corridor. In the Create Corridor dialog box, let's specify the following parameters. Alternatively, you can select these buttons to pick the objects from the drawing. Let's go ahead and name our corridor. We'll call it First Street. For baseline type, we're going to leave it at Alignment and Profile. Our alignment will be First Street, and we want to switch our profile surface to Finish Grade Centerline. For the assembly, let's select Primary Road Full Section. For Target Surface, we'll select Existing Grade. Now make sure that the checkbox for Set Baseline and Region Parameters is checked off. Then click OK. We'll open this up just a little bit more. Now that we're in the Baseline and Region Parameters dialog box, go ahead to the RG-Primary Road row and specify the following end station within the cell. Then press Enter. Next, let's select the frequency by pressing this button and within the Frequency to Apply Assemblies dialog box under Along Curves we want to make sure that the value is set to At Increment. Now for the Curve Increment we're going to specify 3. Go ahead and select OK and select OK again. Now we have a notification that the corridor definition has been modified and needs to be rebuilt. What would you like to do? Note, if the task dialog box is not displayed, the corridor is still built. But in this instance, we want to rebuild the corridor. As you can see, our corridor is now built along our center line. So that's how you go about creating a basic corridor model in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.